Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I am Alicia Houston, the co-owner of Emma Clinic Cosmetics. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do your eyebrows for the look. How this all came about is I was sick and tired of going to the nail shop and I would get my feet done, get my nails done or whatever. And then I had to wait 30 plus minutes just to get my eyebrows. And I'm like, not gonna work for me. My eyebrows was thicker than this. So I'm like, I can do my eyebrows, man, you know? So I went on Amazon as I always do and I found this and it was only $8 and I was able to do my eyebrows already twice, I think. And I still have like two more strips available to you know, do my eyebrows two more times. So we're gonna get into it. So all you need is this box for the wax strips. They come with wax strips, this pre-powder thing that I don't even use. And then they come with this uh, oil wipe that I use after I do my eyebrows. And I also need a, this little spoolie so I can, you know, get my eyebrows in the way I wanted to before I start, you know, stripping away. And I forgot to mention, each pad needs to be cut, so you'll need some scissors. They come with four eyebrow strips and one middle strip. You can cut them any way you want, depending on your arch desire. I like the way that they have it lined up, so I just use the format that they have. Take your spoolie and you just brush your eyebrows in an upward motion so you can get to the root of the problem, which is those long hairs that'll be at the top. First trick, guys. Bam. So I usually like to start with my right eye. I don't know why, I just do. And then I place it where I really want, like how thick. I want my eyebrows to be, I like them like medium thick. So I kind of put it right around there, press down really hard. And then you always strip or wax in the opposite direction in which your eyebrows grow. Now be careful when every time you place it, if you place it in the wrong spot, it's okay. You can always start over by peeling it off in the same direction in which your eyebrows grow. You'll pr pretty much have um, wax on your eyebrow, but it won't take any hair off. So from there, you just keep doing the same thing until you get your desired results. Use every piece of wax strip you can, guys, because it comes with a lot, honestly. Even the stuff that they don't have with, like, dotted lines, it's still wax on the pad. It's little pieces of wax, but use it all because it's, like, little itty-bitty hairs that will probably bug you once you're done waxing, like, the initial eyebrow.
once you feel like you've done all that you wanted to do with your eyebrows, you take the oil wipes and you get off the excess wax. Sometimes I feel like the oil is a little bit too much. So I take a cotton pad and I pretty much just wipe off the excess. And I take a deeper look at my eyebrows and be like, okay, this is cool or this is not. So I like to take the excess oil off just in case I want to do a little bit more. Some people like to tweeze. I am not a tweezer because I cannot take that kind of pain. If anything, I'll draw, draw on my eyebrows if I have to. Or I'll just leave it be because, you know, can't get everything 100% right. But I feel like this is good enough if this is like something you're trying to do just to get off the majority of the hair that you want to get rid of. Okay, this is the final look. I went in and I touched up the top part because a few extra hairs that were bothering me. Same thing for over there. I always seem to cut a little bit or wax a little bit too much off from right here, as you can see. But I've only done this, what, twice? So I'm not really tripping about that. Um, Yeah, I got the box for $8 and I've done this three times now. So I'm going to only get better from here. But if you trying to get your eyebrows on for the low, go to Amazon and then just follow the directions on the box and follow me because, you know, I did okay. I did okay. So like, share, subscribe. Thanks, guys.